Do Giants fans know what they have yet in Daniel Jones? And if so, what is it? I don't know. I mean, I think they have a quarterback that they haven't had a long time, like a real athletic guy that can get out of the pocket and do some things. But my fear for Daniel Jones is that, you know, he there's, there's so many good things that he does do in terms of making decisions downfield and all that stuff. But the one thing that is every quarterback and running backs, Achilles Hill, is if you turn the ball over, you're not long for this league. And he's turned the ball over at, at an incredible rate, unless it's something dramatic happens. Like when Tiki Barber was fumbling, he was almost fumbled his way out of the NFL until Coach Coughlin uh, really emphasized ball security. And he ended up not being a guy that never fumbled. So unless he can, unless he can figure out a way to, to, to take care of the football, we're never going to know how good he is because he's going to be out of here. He's going to be on the next thing smoking as soon as possible if he can't control. I mean, some of the some of the turnovers are just people just ripping the ball out of his hand. Now, that's just unacceptable. I mean, I can understand interceptions every once in a while. You're trying to I remember I talked to Phil, uh, Phil Sims and he's like, look, if you don't throw interceptions, it means you're not trying hard enough. You're being too safe with the football. You're going to throw some interceptions, but I mean, to get the ball ripped out of your hand and to throw double digit interceptions and, you know, a couple games, it's just you're, you're, you're preventing the team and you're preventing yourself from having any real opportunity to be a successful quarterback in the NFL.